Hi and welcome to my channel and this is going to be a walkthrough solve of the MF8 fish ice cube which I consider to be an axis cube. I don't know why they called it a fish ice cube. It's basically an axis cube, that's what it is. Uh, this puzzle has been out for some time and uh, I was actually surprised that I couldn't find any videos on YouTube where uh, with the stickerless version. I only saw the stickered versions uh, like in videos. And so this might be the first stickerless video of this puzzle on YouTube. And I was hesitant to get this uh, for a while because of the pink shades, which I wasn't into a while back. Uh, but now that a lot of these puzzles are coming out with this pink face, and I do have a lot of them in my collection, it's kind of grown on me, and I don't mind it. You know, my puzzles, I have quite a bunch of puzzles now, 60-something puzzles, I think, and like quite a lot of them have pink faces, so it's fine. I don't mind it. Very solid built puzzle very uh, nice turning catches a little bit but not too much and not too difficult to solve if you know how to solve the fisher's cube uh or for example the container cube which is also a version of the uh, kind of like a fisher type of cube and then you should be able to solve this it's kind of the same level of difficulty and this is easier than the golden cube which is a ghost cube basically and also easier than the ghost paraminx also, which is kind of like the Ghost Jinx Pyraminx, aka which is a Ghost Tetrahedral Skew. And so those are very difficult. If you could solve those, you could definitely easily solve this. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Just going to do a walkthrough solve, not really going to explain anything. And so choose a center, start with this one, and put in the corners, just flip them to put it the right way. This one... Flip. And then this one, the yellow corner. Okay, so this is our bottom center with the bottom four corners in place. This is one of the side centers that came into place. Okay, let's see. So this one goes here. This is gonna flip to the other side, which is fine. Okay, down, down, up, up. Let's see. Trying to figure out what goes where. So this one should go here, and this one. Okay, what should go here? Let's just do it like this. Down, up, up. And then this one should be yeah, down, down, up. Up, so this, this is in. Down, down, up, up. This is in. So this one is still gonna flip, and then I put that one there. Down, down, up, up. This one, down. Down, up, up. Okay, so this is in place but needs to flip as does the back one. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and do the same thing here. Down, down. Up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so all the centers are in place and just the top corners. Uh, okay, so this is the tricky part. When I first solved it was figuring out how these triangles have to be placed and I realized that the long side has to match with this. This was, I, I know the rotation, so I know this one. When I do the algorithm four times, it's gonna rotate twice. So it's like a single counterclockwise move. 
so this should not be in front and uh, neither should this so I know these two have to be in front and that's going to solve the puzzle okay so one two three four and it's solved so so yeah and the reason you could see it's an axis cube it has the same kind of pattern as like a three by three axis cube or a four by four axis cube more so like a four by four axis it has this corner and this center whereas the four by four uh, axis cube has like you know this piece here which is split and this one and yeah so that's the puzzle highly recommend it i really enjoy it and uh thanks for watching until next time